up my dudes? It's Demi and I am back for another Disney Wish video. Today we are going to be dining at the Marceline Market. This is the quick service on board that is open for breakfast and lunch. First we're going to get breakfast and then we're going to get lunch and we're going to try basically everything. I'm excited to see what's good here and what's a skip and hopefully that will help you, you know, know what's, what to expect when you come to this quick service restaurant. So let's get in there, let's try a bunch of stuff and let's go get into some hijinks. The Marceline Market is located on deck 11 near the aft which is the back of the ship it's open for breakfast from from 7 to 10 45 and lunch from 12 to 2. what's really cool and if you saw during my full tour of the ship which i will link here i show you everything is that they have those hand washing stations right before you enter the restaurant on both sides of the ship is all of the stations and then in the center on this side we have the marceline market coffee bar there is coffee that's included at the market and like that's the same coffee that's throughout the ship but if you want like specialty coffee or if you want a drink because this is also a regular bar you can come here we are here for breakfast i'm going to show you everything and we're only going to get for breakfast some of the really cool stuff that looks unique because lunch there is a lot to show you first we have the chef's counter first we have sausage asparagus and then we have two different types of eggs benedict we have eggs benedict and eggs chorizo next sausage cheddar flan and turkey bacon and turkey sausage creamy scrambled eggs bacon and hash browns and grilled tomato and they have a plate of hot smoked salmon grab lax and smoke trout. Next we have signature choices. First we have called miso kongi. Next egg fried rice. And then this is kind of repeating some stuff over at the former booth. Grilled tomato, sausage, eggs, and bacon. But over here we have corned beef hash. We have more hash browns. We have sauteed mushrooms and roasted red skin potatoes. Next we have the kids counter and here we have our Mickey waffles. We have pancakes, chocolate chip pancakes, and all the fixins. And there is some cream of wheat. Next we have the market deli. Here we have some cereals. We have creamy grits. We have box cereal and oatmeal with some brown sugar on the side. And then they have this toppings bar that you can put into your cereals. There's nuts and raisins, dried fruit and then some yogurt and some milk a few different jams and peanut butter and then some different types of bread this next section doesn't have a name during lunch this will be dessert but right now they have some red onion cream cheese and capers sliced gouda sliced provolone smoked salmon salami mortadella sliced tomato and cucumber and salami and ham next some like smoothies and yogurt morning snowfall mango mountain hike and this mixture right here which we were going to be trying all of it there's also just regular yogurt and berries and then at the end we have some pastries muffins and croissants and then connecting both sides of the deck so this will be for both sides is this station again some things repeat sausage bacon but look there's like some fried eggs um, and then there's some cinnamon french toast more fried hash browns and then fruit there is seating all the way from back to start on both sides, but I'm gonna show you because a lot of people I guess don't know and it worked out great for me because I don't like to be around a lot of people <laughs> when I'm eating at least that there is a whole section in the back and nobody's sitting here. Here's the chef's counter. Go back through where you first came from and go through this gate and then go through this gate and walk all the way to the back room. Also, they have sodas here. They have uh, apple and orange juice and Minute Maid and coffee. Here is my breakfast haul. I only got some of the highlights because you know what eggs taste like, but we did get some stuff from that first signature booth and we got some of the Gravlox and some of the smoked salmon and cheese. And I'm curious to see how that corned beef hash, hash is gonna taste because it doesn't look the best and I love corned beef hash. And I got a couple of the desserts and those smoothies, so let's give them a try. First, let's try this quiche, that's the inside. Oh, there's sausage in there. It has like some sweetness into this. I actually really like it. The pastry is pretty crusty considering this has like been sitting out under heat lamps. This is actually really tasty. Sweet, cheesy, and eggy. Let's try the Eggs Benedict. <laughs> Honestly, not bad considering it's sitting out there. The egg is like cooked perfectly well and it's runny, but it's nice and gooey on the outside. I think it's very, very good considering it's been sitting out there. 
Now let's try the chorizo benedict. So it's just an eggs benedict, but with chorizo instead of ham. Mm. I knew I was gonna like that better. First of all, I like chorizo. It has a little more flavor, a little more spice, a little more seasoning. And it looks and tastes really good with the runny egg and the texture with the bread and the texture of the eggs together. It actually works very, very well. And again, considering sitting out there and it's eggs, very good. Hash browns are cooked perfectly. I'm so happy. I love when you see those triangle hash browns at breakfast. Let's try this grilled tomato for my friends in the UK. Mm. Whatever they put on top, that seasoning is delicious. So there's rosemary on top and that's why it gives it that good flavor. Actually, really good. Let's try the salmon and the gravlax. This looks just like when we ate at the Arendelle Frozen dinner. Make sure to go watch that video. I'll link it here and put it in the description below. It was an amazing experience, but this was looks like one of the appetizers we got and the sauce was so good, so let's try it. Yeah, it's like exactly the same. It's like a horseradish honey mustard. Mm. Lots of flavor in that first piece of salmon. That's really tasty. It's really smoky, that first piece, but the mustard, that's excellent. Let's try the Gravlax. Delicious, super fresh, exactly the same from Arendelle. It's so funny. And the last piece, that's literally the same piece. It's the, They called it the, a hot salmon because it has like a little bit of like smoky hotness, but it's not like hot, spicy. It's really good though, lots of great flavor. This is a great dish if you like salmon, highly recommend this. Okay, so I'm gonna try this corned beef hash. I normally love corned beef hash, but this don't look great. <laughs> Let's try it. It's so mushy. That's terrible. Absolutely skip, it's like, listen, I make corned beef hash a lot out of the can, out of the can, and this is definitely out of the can, but like, you can crisp up corned beef hash really well, like we do, and it's delicious, like out of the can. It is, it just reminds me of wet dog food. It's terrible. Let's try the miso kangi. It kind of looks like grits. Let's see what it is. That was not what I was expecting. It's like rice. It's like creamy, sweet rice. Not grits at all. It's rice. This is white rice. It's interesting. It's very tasty. I don't really know how to describe it other than just like, like not like rice, not like rice pudding sweet, but like a bit of sweetness and creamy. It's tasty it's, and it's different than just like normal like buffet breakfast this is very good okay let's try out these three cups don't really know what they are what to expect all I know is this first one is called the morning snowfall I'm pretty sure this one is just like a smoothie yeah it's super thick and creamy it's okay it's just really really thick um, it's just like a bunch of different fruit mixed in there you can taste like strawberries and just different berries uh, and it's just it's just really thick and I wish it was colder. This one is the mango mountain hike I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to drink this I don't like that. I don't I don't like that. Okay. I had my husband taste it and it's he said it tastes fine It's just like really thick really really thick mango smoothie and I guess I just don't like mangoes discovery today um yeah unless they're like supposed to be yogurts but like the consistency is like very very strange because like it doesn't i don't know it doesn't really look like yogurt i i don't know piece that it's fine if you like mangoes maybe give it a try i know this next one is definitely not a smoothie this says bircher masuli i don't even know what that is Muesli with sliced banana, flaxseed, and dried cranberry. If anybody knows what that means or how to pronounce it properly, please let me know in the comments below. Looks like oats and cream and berries. Let's try it. That's good. Has like almost like a brown sugar oatmeal taste to it, but it's just like a little bit different. The nuts, not the fruit rather, is good with it too. It's actually very tasty. It's like a cold overnight oats. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And finally, let's try some of the dessert. We just got like one of the muffins and the chocolate donut. Here's the inside of the donut. It's just like a chocolate donut. Let's try it. Oh, that's so good though. That chocolate shell on the top, it kind of tastes, it tastes like an Entenmann's chocolate donut, which like if, it's like the superior of chocolate donuts. I don't care if you don't agree with me or not. It's what I believe. Put Entenmann's white donut with the chocolate frosting and you put those in the freezer 
That is the best chocolate donut you will ever have, and that's what this reminds me of. And finally, let's try the apple crumb muffin. I love the crumbles on the top. There's very, very, very little apple, and the actual muffin bottom is pretty dry. Not the best thing. But it's not bad. I, the top part is really delicious. I mean, I would just get it and eat the top part. <laughs> Overall, I think there is a, this is a pretty good breakfast. There's a lot of like good staples here and then some fun little extras. But now let's look at lunch. Our first station is the chef's counter. Over here we have pasta, we have beef, potato, lamb. And then over here we have ratatouille, potatoes, the tomato and some chicken breast. And then this is really awesome and looks wonderful. They have a charcuterie board and some breads over here. Our next booth is Signature Choices. First we have chicken tiki masala, Navratan korma wok, sesame toasted salmon teriyaki. In the back right, it's called paratha. It's like a bread. And then we have carrot tin pira and then jasmine rice and finally we have chicken teriyaki broccoli and vegetable samosas here is where you can get those famous disney cruise line chicken tenders which i am so excited to finally try like they're hopefully they're worth the hype i've just heard the best things about them and then we have mac and cheese some vegetables fries a chicken pot pie a fruit cup a vegetable cup and then there is Oh, I missed this before. This is a, it's a cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to skip on that because I have a weird thing with mushrooms. It's, don't even ask. It's like my one weird food thing. And then ham and pineapple wrap and watermelon and feta cheese. Next up, we have the market deli. Over here is where you can grab it yourself and they have different salads. We have the house salad, the grilled chicken salad, the mescaline mixed with goat cheese and the chef salad. And then they have on the side, you can top it off with chicken breast or crispy pork. The next booth is actually the dessert booth and we're gonna come back to it because there's another booth and you may miss it because it's in between both sides of the market kind of like how the coffee shop is on the other side over here is fresh fare here you can get crab shrimp mussels grilled halibut Cajun spice grouper and then some fries broccoli and potatoes here they have a chocolate mousse a three-layer carrot cake assorted jelly cubes Vanilla, I may butcher this, vanilla mille fuli slice? A vanilla cake, fruit salad, more mousse, a lemon tartlet, gluten-free mango pot de crema, strawberry cheese cheesecake, and a different kind of fruit cup. There's also oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip cookies, vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate ice cream, and the sticky dates pudding, which you can totally top with vanilla ice cream. Okay, here is my haul. We got a little bit of every booth. I'm really excited to try it. Let's begin with our chef selection booth. First, let's try the charcuterie board from Chef Selections. I made me a little, little boat. Let's try it. That's good. I love charcuterie. I'm really happy to see it here in like a quick service. That's very, very good. The olives are very tasty. Meat is good. I like the artichoke with it. Very happy to see that here. Let's try the beef. And they put on peppercorn sauce. It's just okay. Nothing really spectacular. It's just very plain. Peppercorn sauce is okay. It's just, it's not the greatest beef. Let's try the pasta. It's fine. There's really nothing wrong with it. I wish it had like a little more flavor to it. It's very plain. I assume that's because so many people are going to be eating it, so it's not like incredibly flavorful, but the meat isn't too bad, and the pasta is cooked fine. Let's try the lamb. I don't really like it. There's like really no flavor to it. It tastes just kind of like nothing, and it doesn't leave a great taste in your mouth. I don't know. It needs like salt, needs something. It's just very, very plain. Try the chicken. Chicken's actually pretty good. It has a little bit of flavor to it. It's nice and juicy. Especially after having those two other meats, this was definitely the best out of the three. Let's try this tomato, and yes, I'm picking it up. I don't care. That's really good. The goat cheese with the crumble and the tomato is absolutely delicious. 100% recommend this. The ratatouille. Mm. That's actually delicious. The sauce is really tasty. The vegetables are cooked well. They're not soggy at all. This is really good. I recommend that one. There's actually actual flavor in that sauce versus like the sauce from the pasta. I got one of the fun breads to try. It looks like, like a cheesy bread. Not bad. The top part is the best. A bread you would find in the store. It's like that kind of fluffy, but overall not bad. On to the signatures booth. First, we're gonna try the chicken tiki masala. Actually, it's pretty good. 
I was like <laughs> not expecting chicken tikka masala on a cruise to be like good, but this is actually good. The sauce is good, the flavor is good. It's not too much, it's not too little. It's actually pretty perfect, I think. Mm, very tasty. Vegetable korma. It's okay, the flavors are really light. I wish it was like a little bit more seasoned, but overall like it's okay. I wouldn't not not get it, but it's not like the best thing. Teriyaki salmon. That's pretty good. Mm, yeah. I love a teriyaki salmon. This one's pretty pretty good. I would say it's definitely something to consider. I, I would I would get this again. That's that's what I would say. I would get this again. Teriyaki chicken. Mmm. That's really good. The skin on the chicken is really like has a lot of flavor from the teriyaki. It really went on there pretty strong. Chicken itself is cooked really well. It's not like stringy or anything. The chicken is very good. That's definitely the best meat I've had today out of everything we've tried so far. Let's try the samosa. That's the inside. The flavors are pretty good. It gives you a little kick at the very end. Pretty tasty overall. I think definitely eat it as quick as you can so that the uh, pastry is nice and crispy because it starts to get soggy a little bit, but overall pretty good. Kids booth is up next. Let's try this chicken pot pie. I'm not really a big fan of chicken pot pie. I can't even cut through it. Look at that not coming apart that is the inside it's like very creamy looking I just don't like when you can't see the food you're eating but let's try it it's actually not bad I'm surprised I like it that's probably the cream of mushroom soup and I'm not gonna pretend that I, that like I know that um, again the mushroom thing is all mental for me it's like really weird but it's my one weird food thing it's actually pretty tasty I'm it's not like the best thing in the world at, by far but kids will love it if they like pot pie actually it's really pretty good like out of everything we've eaten today like this is definitely higher on the list than a lot of the other things all right let's try the famous chicken tenders from the disney cruise line this is so famous that josh tomorrow had to literally say in his speech at the wishes christening and you're gonna love this experience and this experience and our chicken tenders <laughs> so let's see if it lives up to the hype yeah that's good and it's hot the breading is so good. These are really, really good chicken tenders. I mean, I get the hype now. I haven't had chicken tenders in forever, but this is really, really good. I lived, lived up to the hype, 100%. I got one of the salads. This one looked like the most fun to try. It has the feta, it has the walnut and the uh, strawberries. And I've got a side of balsamic vinegar, so let's give it a try. Got a little of everything. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. First of all, I love a fruit with cheese, and I love that in the salad. This is definitely, it looked like the best one. It has the most things out of all of them. It's very tasty, very citrusy. The cheese is very good, and the walnuts are a nice crunch with it. Very delicious salad, highly recommend. Let's try the fish station. They give you a cracker and I was able to open it up. Let's try the crab. Mm, delicious, I love me crab. I like that they have this station. Honestly, I'm surprised to see a seafood station because seafood's expensive. I really didn't think they would give that to us. Very delicious, let's try the shrimp. I just wanna point out the shrimp is cleaned, which is very good. Seriously, a lot of times I'll go places and you still see the shrimp all dirty and it's gross. It's good, nothing wrong with it. Perfect little shrimp. Let's try the mussel. These are huge mussels. I almost thought they were oysters because they were so big. I love mussels. I love that this booth is here. That's awesome. I love seafood. That's delicious. It's not like, it's a little bit salty, but like not too bad. I think it's very good. They're not like the best mussels in the world. It's not the best seafood in the world, but I like that it's here and it's a nice treat to see because you know, seafood is expensive. Halibut, so plain. There's nothing on there at all. Not very good and the grouper better than the halibut but still not that seasoned just a little bit more on the top very very plain just a, nothing really special to it but it's pretty good and if you like fish i'm again i'm just glad to see that there is a fish section all right time for dessert let's start trying stuff strawberry cheesecake you're up first mm, really light and moussey Actually, really nice flavor from the strawberry. And you get a little bit of chocolate on the bottom and the white crunchy pearls on top. That's actually very delicious. The vanilla layer cake. 
pretty good. Very sugary from the icing on the top, but I do like the pastry. It's like almost like baklava, that type of like crusty pastry. Mm. And then like nice creamy vanilla in the side, in the inside. Pretty good. Chocolate mousse, you are up. The chocolate's not very good. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. The quality of the chocolate just wasn't that good, so it just was not my favorite. Carrot cake. Just very sugary. There's not much of like stuff on the inside to give it any texture or crunch. It's very not good. It's just very nothing really there to it. And carrot cake's one of my favorite cakes of all time, but you have to have all the good stuff in in there, like the carrot and the crunch from nuts and the peak, whatever, and that's just totally plain and nothing. Tart, you, you are up. That's not bad. I like the crust on the tart. That was cooked pretty well. Um, the inside is just kind of okay. Very thick, actually, than I thought. But I do like the um, little meringues on top. Overall, it's not bad. Definitely not the greatest, but not the worst. This is the gluten-free mango pot de crema. I like that a lot. The mango is really tasty. It's nice and creamy. That's actually really delicious and nice and light. Very good, very good flavors. And finally, we have the date pudding. Again, you can get it with vanilla ice cream, but I was like, um, yeah, like the last thing I need to do is add more things. Oh my gosh, it's so sugary. I knew it was going to be. It's like a sticky toffee pudding. My husband got it with the ice cream. He said, you gotta get it with the ice cream on top. Honestly, it was way too sugary for me. It just kind of tastes like, with a, like, like really sugary stickiness and like with hints of chocolate. It's really not my, my personal favorite, but you may like it. It's just incredibly sweet. Are you about to fit, give me a little bit with the ice cream? <laughs> it's way better with the ice cream. Vanilla really helps cut out some of the sweetness. That's so much better. This tastes like a totally different dish without it. So thank you for saving the day. So definitely get that with the ice cream. I am so full. We tried a little bit of everything. <sighs> We closed down the market. Well, my dudes, that was breakfast and lunch here at the Marceline Market. There is definitely a lot of good things that are here and some definitely some skippable options. But overall, I think this is a really good buffet or like given to you buffet. How would you ever describe that here on the Disney Wish? I think the quality of everything is still very good, even if I don't think like it was maybe seasoned enough or something I personally enjoyed, but everything quality-wise is very good here because you could go on another ship and like I remember when I went on my first cruise 10 years ago, it's the only one I ever done, I could not eat the food at all and it was, you know, that's, this is, you know, this is the equivalent and everything here was very good overall and I just hope I was able to help you pick and choose some of your options when you come to Marceline Market on the Disney Wish. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Be sure to check out my Patreon. Become a patron to get exclusive bonus content and you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content here on this channel. Make sure to go check out my room tour, my full tour of the ship, all the daily activity days that we're doing, and all of the dining videos that are coming and are out. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get into some hijinks very, very soon. Have a bye! Bye.